I'm going to meet my midwife for the first time. I feel so reassured, like I was actually listened to. Now you all know I'm pregnant. Yeah. High five. No. Oh, thanks. Lovely. I feel sick. I just can't finish cooking. Daddy has to come home and finish cooking because mommy can't do it. Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm going to meet my midwife for the first time. It feels really strange to vlog this right now because you guys at this point of filming don't know that I'm pregnant. You do however know that a volcano went off just a couple of days here and before you see it I know it is all hormones but it's really messing with my head and I'm not like worried about the volcano and anything that's kind of a knock-on effect of that. I'm worried about all the people who are hiking out to it and the people that I know that are doing it. And it's really, I've had to step away from conversations, step away from social media completely. It is kind of throwing me off. And yeah, so I kind of, I feel a wee bit nervous going to the midwife anyway, because I, for those of you who watched the videos whilst I was pregnant with Mia, I had, my local midwife who was actually a nurse and we ended up changing at 34 weeks I think it was to a lovely midwife from a private healthcare centre, a private birthing centre here. This time she's busy because obviously everyone <laughs> is having a child right now and she has recommended somebody else to me so I'm going for an appointment with her today and then I've also booked my 12 week scan in two or three weeks time just after Easter and at that point we will announce and you'll all know and we can catch up because I feel like I have this huge secret from you all and it's so weird isn't it to be making these videos and just saving them up until I can actually release them and let you all know what is actually going on. So Ingvar is currently driving to work, he won't be coming to the appointment. He will hopefully be able to come to the scan though. Although we are on the cusp of, what is it, like the third wave of COVID? Yeah, the third yeah. real wave, but we would call it fourth wave. Yeah. So at the moment there are, I think it's 21 people who are in quarantine. We're 23, but there's a crew of a is it tanker. A, yeah, an alumin, aluminium, aluminium ship. Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> aluminium ship that um, came into the harbour here. They tested positive for COVID and unfortunately one of them um, didn't go into quarantine and kind of, I, I'm not even sure what the story is, but there's that and then there's another outbreak of somebody who came over from the UK, did their two tests, tested negative, went out of quarantine and then had symptoms and tested positive. Unfortunately, they had been around their family, so they've been um, infected. One of them went to Harpa, which is a big concert venue, mm -hmm. so they had to test like, everybody in the audience within a weekend, people. 800 people, which is amazing that they could do that and we can track everyone here. And unfortunately, someone there is a nurse at the local hospital. So it's kind of a bit of a uncertain time right now, whether we're about to go into the next wave of COVID or if it's just these 21 people and it's contained. <laughs> we will find out soon. But right now, it's only mothers that can go to the appointment, masked up, um, social distancing, and hopefully everyone's abiding by the rules and being very safe. <laughs> That person's like, what have we got a camera for? What, are we, what, what? what do you have to say about pregnancy? About <laughs> being a dad again? Scary. <laughs> exciting. Mostly exciting. Yeah. Interesting times we live in with oh, COVID death. and volcanoes and babies coming. What are you? You're doing very well dealing with a little dramatic toddler and a very hormonal wife. Thank Who's you. missing home as well. Yeah. Oh, even saying that makes me want to cry. Yeah. 
because I am now registered as pregnant in the healthcare system, I'm not even sure when I'll maybe get the vaccine. So I am not sure when I'll be able to actually travel home and see anyone either, which is a massive, massive thing to me. But anyway, we will keep this as cheery as we can. And yeah, Ingmar's gonna go off to work. I'm gonna go off to the appointment. And we will update you later. Hi. Okay, so I've just finished with the midwife now and it was such a good appointment, honestly. I feel so reassured, like I was actually listened to. So different from the first midwife. She went through the same things, but she just did it in such a just supportive way. <laughs> it was just, it's the way it should be. Anyway, I'm very glad that I have changed midwife and honestly, if you are feeling anything other than supported by your midwife, please I urge you to look into changing because that was so good I was at the end of it I was like thank you you really reassured me this has been so good um but yeah we went through everything she asked loads of questions we looked at all the different um appointments and scans and tests and everything that will will be done in the next weeks and months um, because I am over 40 now I will be up for more tests more appointments um, and that's fine it's all good I'm getting excellent care which is great and yeah she took my blood pressure weighed me not much we can do about that everything is looking good and yeah she's given me some good advice about eating and uh, vitamins and yeah that's it so I have to go for a blood test and then I have another appointment at 16 weeks so I won't see her for ages now I won't see her for six weeks that's kind of strange yeah at least I have my 12 week scan coming up so I get to see baby and that's always reassuring because of course like unless I don't know you don't feel baby baby is moving around but I can't feel anything and you just you have your symptoms of being pregnant which are delightful um, but other than that yeah you can get yourself quite worried quite anxious very quickly very easily and yeah you just need to be calm trust that your body knows what it's doing bodies are incredible and yeah let's just enjoy this experience because it really might be the last the last time I do this and I'm just as I said before I'm just so happy I feel so blessed that we're getting to do this again I look windswept and very overexposed uh, you'll have to also ignore that I have cold sores because now you all know I'm pregnant this is definitely another side effect of all of that plus the current feeling of bleh <laughs> is all I can describe but I'm taking you on the balcony today because we're out here cleaning the windows aren't we Mia? Show me cleaning? Yeah! I mean to be fair mommy cleaned them and they're pretty streaky Mia. so Mia's doing a better job yeah right here you go dry bread that's all you want just dry bread okay okay and um, we really really need to clean up because after the winter crazy storms and all the snow the balcony just looks disgusting and plant pots have come down off the wall that's definitely dead these are coming back alive yeah the sky yeah the sky a little bit blue it looks way more blue on camera than it does in real life can you see some birdies yeah. and daddy had a barbecue last night didn't he tweet tweet yeah <laughs> you and your plain bread okay you ready no. steady <gasps> hi mia you're not even watching anymore Huh? Wow! <laughs> yeah, she's bothered. Woo! Ta da! High five? No. Oh, thanks. Lovely. <laughs> you want to do it now? Yeah. Okay, you finish the job. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we really need to do some work. Give this balcony some love, don't we? My goodness. Consider 
sure it'll probably snow again in the next few days. That will do for now, Mia, won't it? Yeah? Yeah. Clean windows and a clean-ish floor. Yeah, we'll sort out the plants when, when spring actually gets here. This is the problem. I've got to this stage of dinner. I've had to put in a preggy pop stops. <laughs> These, because I feel sick. I just can't finish cooking. No, I can't. I can't make the rest of dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Daddy has to come home and finish cooking because Mummy can't do it. She needs to have a lie down now or something. Yeah.